My name is Martin Lamelas. I am 33 years old. I do DJing for events and parties. I also produce these events, like sound equipment, lighting equipment, and video also as well. I've been living in Buenos Aires since I was born. Buenos Aires is a very big city. It's one of the biggest metropolises in South America. They call it the Paris of South America because of its architecture mainly. The quality of life is something very good in Buenos Aires. I think the mixture of cultures, you know, make a unique character, which is the porteño. Porteños are the uh, people who was born and raised in Buenos Aires, near the river, the riverside, that's why they are called porteños. It comes from the port. The way he speaks, the way he dresses, the way he interacts with other people makes uh, porteños like a unique character in our culture. Buenos Aires is divided in comunas. Before it used to be divided by neighborhoods, you know. We, we had Palermo, Belgrano, Flores, Caballito. The place we are, we are standing now is uh, Puerto Madero. Every neighborhood has its own personality, you know. The people from Recoleta are different from people from San Isidro. So that's also very unique in, in, in Buenos Aires. Well, right now I'm going to take you to San Telmo, which is located in the older part of the city where we're going to see some cool shops uh, and we're going for relic hunting there. Now we are in San Telmo. This is the oldest neighborhood in Buenos Aires. If you take a walk, you can see that all the houses and shops, you know, they are still the same as they used to be. Colonial architecture, very Spanish. They are all very well preserved. It's a very unique place uh, where you can get in contact with our culture and strongly our Spanish culture. San Telmo is uh, characterized by its uh, bohemian attitude. Uh, you can find lots of artists here in this neighborhood uh, and they all come here to buy to, and to sell their goods, you know. Yeah, now we are at uh, the Galleria La Defensa and it used to belong to the Familia Ezeiza. You can see the proportion of the place is very big, so this was a very wealthy family back then. And as you can see, there are lots of shops, stuff that you can take back home and remind you of, of what San Telmo is like, you know. This type of architecture is uh, late 1800 and early 1900. It's very colonial. Uh, there are few places nowadays left like this, so it's very, very interesting. Yeah, now we are at uh, the antique shop, uh, Galeria um, Gabriel del Campo. Uh, it's a place where we can find a mixture of different cultures. You know, we come from Spanish and Italian, and well, that is something you can find here for sure, you know. If you want to go really country in Buenos Aires, definitely this is the place to be. Now we are at Plaza Dorrego. It's a place where people come on the weekends and also during the week, just to spend some time here in the outside and have something to eat. I ordered bife de chorizo. It's a very typical dish for us Argentinians. We love meat, you know. Uh, meat is a very important thing in our culture. And this is one of the best dishes to have uh, if you're in Buenos Aires. In San Telmo it's very common that you come here and you can see people dancing tango. Yeah, it is a beautiful dance, you know, um, it tells a lot about uh, how porteños are. It has a lot of expression, uh, it's very sensual, you know, um, it's a lot of contact, you know, in, in tango. If you come to visit Buenos Aires, uh, tango is something you, you must see. Aires, when it gets very hot, as now, for instance, a good thing to do, you know, is to go to the parks uh, and have a good time with, with friends. Buenos Aires has a lot of parks, you know, uh, just in Avenida Libertador you might have around nine or ten parks. Uh, the biggest of them is uh, Parque 3 de Febrero, 
the one we are going now. People in Buenos Aires often come here uh, to Parque 13 de Febrero to spend time with the family, you know, on, on weekends. And during the week as well, you can find a lot of people doing sports, like jogging, cycling, and playing football as well in, in the parks, you know, among friends. Everybody loves football, you know. Football for us is like uh, one of our main concerns, you know. Uh, uh, it's very passionate. If anyone gets a chance to see maybe a match between Boca and River or maybe Independiente Racing, for sure it will be one of the best experiences they can ever have. Now we're gonna head to my place. I'm gonna take a shower and afterwards I will get on my night suit and we're going out. The beautiful lady next to me, it's Mercedes, my fiancé. We know each other since we are 15. Working at night doesn't give me many chance to go out with my friends. So this weekend I can seek that time, you know, as I'm not working, so I'm, I will be going out. You're going out? Yeah, I'm going out. People in Buenos Aires are all into going out, you know, like uh, the Porteño is uh, a person that loves nightlife. You know, we have uh, lots and lots of clubs in Buenos Aires, uh, lots of areas, you know, full of bars. Now we are in Palermo. Palermo is one of the largest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. It has sub neighborhoods, you know, as we can say, like Palermo Hollywood, where we are right now which is a place full of bars and shops. If you come to Buenos Aires and you like to party, I think, yeah, it's uh, definitely a place to be. Right now, to round off the Palermo trip, we are entering a very special bar, which is called Frank's. It's inspired on the speakeasy, uh, about the time of the, when the prohibition went in the US. To get an entrance here, you need a password, so not everyone knows it. You have to get in Facebook or know someone who can pass you the, the entrance code. So we're lucky because we have one. The place inside looks very like a bar from the 1930s, you know. The furniture, it's a lot of wood inside. You know, the beautiful chairs, uh, cushions, just exclusive cocktails. So it's uh, a very unique place. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. It's been a long day in Buenos Aires. We've done a couple of things very nice. You know, got to see some parts of the city. But there's a lot more to do. So, espero verlos a todos pronto en Buenos Aires. Salud.